Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, continuing with our No Buy November. Um, if you're new to the channel or this is the first video you've watched in November, No Buy November was inspired by Kyle over at No High Beer Reviews. You do not buy beer for the month of November and you get through your cellar and you enjoy the beer that you had instead of spending money on more beer. So we've done that this month. We're doing a good job. So uh, we're going to review a beer from New Glarus. I don't think I've ever reviewed a New Glarus beer on my channel. And I think I got this bottle of beer from Eric and John. I think. I'm almost positive. So, um, And I wrote on this label because it's not dated. I wrote 2014. So this is a 2014 vintage. So this beer has been in the bottle for five years. Um, and it is called Serendipity, and it says it's a happy accidental fruit ale. So I don't know exactly what this beer is. Um, I don't think it's considered a sour, um, but it does say on the label that I think it's brewed with apples, cranberries, and cherries. You hold, let's see here. You hold, sorry for reading. I usually don't read labels, but you hold the happy accent of Wisconsin's favorite fruit aged ale and oak. So. Uh, actually, it says almost magical wild fermentation. Maybe this is, a, yeah, it is a sour. Kaleidoscope of flavor discovered by accident in a sour ale. So there you go. Uh, does this show the ABV? I don't know if Wisconsin makes you do that. I don't know the ABV. It doesn't say. New Glarus, damn you. I hate that, but whatever. So let's get into this one. Shall we? I've heard good things about this beer. Um, I used to talk to John about this beer all the time. Um, I don't know if John still watches my videos. I hope you uh, are doing well, buddy. I miss you. Same with Eric. Um, so yeah, here we go. Dude, that pours like a murky kind of brown. <laughs> Stuff bouncing all over the place. How's uh, November going for you guys? You guys participating in No Buy November? I've enjoyed it. I'm telling you, man. Like, not buying beer and drinking the beers that have been sitting in my cellar. It is liberating. I love it. So. I appreciate Kyle for putting that uh, <laughs> that idea in my head. So this is actually like kind of a hazy reddish kind of copper color. Um, there was, I don't know, half a finger of like an off-white head. It's dissipating really, really quickly. This must, well, I don't want to say it must be a higher ABV beer because the head is dissipating. It could be that it was in barrels. It could be that there's a bunch of fruit in it. It could just be the age. It's not like a really um, carbonated beer. So it looks, I mean, I don't... <laughs> Does it not say the ABV? What the fuck is the ABV of this? I hate you, New Glarus. Why do you do that to me? I have no idea what I'm drinking right now. That's See, that's the bummer. And I've gone off on this in other videos. And me and Nathan did the one review on his channel with Marshmallow Hanji, and I was pissed. <laughs> and I basically told three Floyds to fuck off. I just, I don't know what I'm drinking right now, and I hate that. So, whatever. Let's shove our fat nose in this one. Wow. <laughs> Immediately. So, if you're new to my channel... Um, I draw a lot of comparisons with beer. Why the fuck is that just playing so much music? Sorry if you can hear that. Golden Tea decided to be really, really loud tonight. It usually never plays the um, attract music, and that's really distracting and bothering me. Um, if you don't, if you haven't watched my reviews before, I I like talk a lot about like things I've eaten or drinking in the past, like my childhood. Immediately, this smells like Martinelli's to me. We used to drink Martinelli's every. Uh, New Year's Eve, our, my mom and dad would let us stay up till midnight. Me and my sisters would drink it. It's got like an apple cider thing. There's so much damn apple in that. It's crazy. Um, it does not smell. It does not smell uh, tart. It doesn't smell sour. But it's got this like dusty, dirty thing, um, which is kind of making me think I'm smelling like the wood from whatever barrels that they um, age this in. And there is like a, not tart cranberry, but there's a definite cranberry um, aroma to that. This smells absolutely awesome. It smells killer. I will say, it. this sounds weird, but it smells like it's going to be flat. It doesn't smell like there's a lot of carbonation. And it kind of looked that way when we poured it, so. Let's go ahead and taste it, John. Eric, cheers. Bros, hope you guys are well. <laughs> that is fucking delicious. Wow. So, much like I mentioned when I was smelling it, this beer, there's no carbonation. There's a little bit of a head, no bubbles at all across your tongue. It's flat, but it's not bad. This tastes like you're drinking 
a glass of juice. It's crazy, like actual, um, like in a, in a plastic bottle concentrate, not real like blend up fruit juice, like concentrated, like think Welch's grapefruit, Welch's like um, cran raspberry, like that fruit cocktail kind of fruit. That's what that tastes like, that's crazy. Um, it doesn't go tart, it's not sour. It's just, there's the awesome, like actual sugary sweet fruit, but it's, it's not like cloyingly sweet. This is, <laughs> this is so good. Fuck, this is, it reminds me of like drinking a juice box as a kid. If this beer is high in alcohol, that's gonna blow my mind because it does not taste boozy. It doesn't taste alcoholic. Um, really, really dry, dry on the finish. Like I could chug this right now crazy this is awesome like i imagine this fresh is probably like unreal because this is absolutely fantastic but if it's fresh and it's got some carb to it and it might be like a little on maybe like more of a tart kind of a thing um going towards like sour <laughs> this is i mean i don't know I, i'd have to sit and think about it off the top of my head wisconsin breweries not sure like if i was in wisconsin i would have a million of these beers in my fridge my wife is going to absolutely fucking love this beer. That apple, cranberry, there's a little bit of like cherry juice in there. It's so good. <laughs> it's so, so good. I'm so stoked that I drank this tonight. I've been drinking like barley wines. Um, we drank, what else have we drank? We drank like a blended beer. Um, but I just decided I wanted something different tonight. And this is what I looked at when I opened the fridge. And I'm glad that... Uh, <laughs> I opened it. It's absolutely fantastic. So, uh, John and Eric, you guys are saints. I would love to get more of this. So, uh, that's Serendipity from New Glarus. If you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let's talk about it. I think this beer is fire, and I hope other people do too. So, uh, that's it. I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Cheers. Uh, thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. <laughs> all that shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.